Hi, welcome. Nice to have you here. And followed by Austin, is it Hopper or Hooper? I think it's Hopper, right? You're next. Hi, council members. And Hi, how are you? Mayor. How are you? Um, thanks for letting me speak. I didn't get a chance to stay around last time. I had to pick up the kids. So um, I, I'm just a quick background myself. I quit smoking after 22 years using vaporizer products. I had smoker, uh, smoking related yes. deaths in my family. Just and right. after mm -hmm. trying to quit through probably about half a dozen other means, it was the only way I found that I effectively quit tobacco products. Uh, that was about six years ago. I don't really want to get into too much more details about vaping besides just kind of putting out there that if the goal of um, a flavor ban is to limit access to children or teenagers, I think you have to recognize that most of those children and teenagers are not purchasing these, uh, th these products inside of the city district. In fact, most of them are getting them online, either through social media and Snapchat, or through eBay, or through uh, spoofing the age requirements on websites by using simple Photoshop with IDs. So really limiting access uh, through flavor bans in your local city is only going to make adults like me who quit smoking using vape harder to do. Uh, most of these local stores are really good at carting uh, individuals and, and that even was shown through the FDA's reports when they did studies about this last year. Uh, if the other, of course, goal was to, in reaction to the health issues that came about last year with people going to the hospital and, and dying uh, through using vaporizer products. Obviously now the CDC has published that the entirety, almost every single case they've examined that was due to using black market THC vaporizer products and had nothing to do with e-liquid or flavored e-liquid nicotine products. Unfortunately, those black market products come a lot of times in states where the people who are trying to use those products don't have access to legal THC products in the state, so that's the direction they went, which is to the black market. And I guarantee that if flavor bans continue with e-liquid, you're going to have a lot more black market activity with flavored e-liquid and nicotine products, which would therefore lead to more health problems with those products. So basically, if the two goals are, one, to keep away teen access, or two, to make sure people don't have health problems, a local flavor ban is not going to achieve either of those. It will only keep adults like myself from finding relief from their nicotine addiction. And that's why I wanted to say to you today. Thank you for your time. Sure. Well, now, we modified the ordinance. So let me turn to the city attorney because we're not talking about the businesses anymore. We're not talking about adult use. We're talking about getting our public safety oh, okay. uh, representatives the right to when they see uh, teens using them, that they have a tool to confiscate oh, them. But we did not shut down businesses, stop it, and we, right. we modified it. We actually cut the baby in half. But city attorney, if you could be maybe more a legal ease about it. I, I think you frankly did a great job, Mayor. Oh, but, uh, <laughs> but, I should get but my I'll, legal license. I'll, I'll, go, I'll go real quick. Uh, uh, the ordinance as it was originally proposed uh, was to forbid the sale and use by anybody. Right. Um, the forbidding of the sale was removed. Um, and the forbidding of the use was limited to uh, to minors only. Got it. So those changes, those two major changes were made, and then there was an express exception for the use of hookah that Got was it. also added to the ordinance. So what's before the council for action is far more narrow than you gave. Well, I, I really appreciate that, and I apologize. I'm working off of uh, outdated information on my part, but I didn't. I didn't. I do sort of thought work. you were, but I wanted to let you have your three minutes because Thank you, you had to leave early last time. So. Thank you so much. Well, I applaud your, your even uh, your even headedness regarding this issue, and thank you so much. Of course. So um, now we will turn to, let's see, um, Austin Hopper, and then followed by Harlan Styles. But I think you had your item under the wrong. Um, Harlan, I think it was posted under the wrong number. Hi, how are you? Welcome. I'm well, Madam Mayor. Thank you, Mayor Pro Tem and uh, council members and staff. I appreciate you being here today. I wanted to come here and thank you for making Irvine a city that actually is proactive in looking at science-based approach. Since I came out in opposition of the uh, ban originally, I wanted to come and take time to thank you uh, for allowing us to speak to you last time and uh, moving forward with reason and keeping Irvine an amazing city that it is. And I thank you for your time today. Thank you. You know, it's amazing. Not very many people ever come back and share that they're thankful for what we did when we actually listened to them. So that's really huge, and we really appreciate it. I appreciate you as well. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so Harlan Stiles. Hi, how are you, Harlan? Doing well. How are you? Welcome. 
Excuse me, I'm not that good at public speaking. I hate it too, oh, and I so just bad. got pushed on me, so <laughs> I understand the, the uncomfortableness of it. So please be comfortable. We want you to feel comfortable here. So I wanted to speak out against this flavor ban. To my understanding, I may have also been uh, working off some old uh, outdated information. So just to make sure I understand the flavor ban that you are, are proposing is more specifically the use of it in public? Yes. Well, it's not to adults because the state already regulates that. And we're not banning the sale, mm -hmm. but we're giving our public safety officers tools that they didn't have. So I know the schools have that opportunity. We're going to have an update. Uh, is the video going to talk about that, Chief? I'm not sure. Um, but that way, if we see youth smoking, we have the ability through public safety to confiscate their um, don't, don't products you are, and whatnot. Don't you already have that? If you saw an 18-year-old smoking cigarettes? Well, I, I can't get into a debate about it, but the chief will explain. Because, Chief, you want to share what you shared with us at the last in two weeks ago, your concerns and why we needed this. Sure. So thank you, Mayor. Um, with the new um, smoking uh, ordinance and the ban in public places, uh, if someone is actually smoking a cigarette or, or a, a vaping product, then um, yes, that would, that would be uh, we'd be able to, to um, stop that from occurring with a new smoking ordinance. However, let's say we were to come into contact with somebody who wasn't actually using or vaping in that moment, but they had vaping products on their person. That's where uh, this, this particular ordinance would allow us to take action, whereas the, the um, uh, overarching um, no smoking public places ban would, would not allow us to take action. Okay, I believe I understand then. Um, then... I guess my my big thing is as long as I have the right to vape, I know that as me personally, I smoked cigarettes for the last seven years before I started vaping, and when I wasn't smoking cigarettes, I was chewing tobacco. It was one or the other. If I was indoors, there was dip in my mouth. If not, there's a cigarette in my hand. The vape has been the only thing that has managed to be able to allow me the ability to the freedom to be able to step myself down and no longer be able to, to ingest nicotine or nearly to the same extent that I was, I was back then. It has provided me a freedom, and if I'm no longer allowed to have that freedom, I know that I will be taking my residence somewhere else. That's we don't it. want to lose you here in Irvine. I, we want you to stay. I appreciate that. Other than that, I thank you for your time. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you for coming. You did a great job. Okay, so with that, is there a motion to move item 2.6? Oh, I'm sorry, city attorney. I, I apologize, Mayor. If I could offer one clarification to the ordinance. We use the term minor. In the original presentation, we specified that state law treats people under 21 as different, but there is right. some ambiguity out there whether a minor is under 18 or under 21. I'd like to add an errata to the ordinance for adoption tonight that just switches persons under 21 inserts that where it says minor. Other than that, it'd be the okay. same. Okay, I'm fine with that. It's so do we have to have our, uh, so the errata is fine. We don't have to remake it. So we can That's take right. the motion and move it forward. Yeah. Okay, so is there a motion for item, unless there's any discussion? Yes, um, Council Member Quo. I just have a question. So, but you have to be 18 to buy cigarettes. No. 21. When did that change? Uh, 2016. When you stopped smoking. Well, after I was, okay. And I, <laughs> okay, so, so the, the 21 on the, the vaping is consistent with traditional tobacco efforts. Okay, shows how much I know about tobacco. Thank you. <laughs> Great, well, thank you. Okay, so at this time, we'll um, entertain a motion for item 2.6, second reading. May I? Yes. Okay. okay. Council Member Kahn? Am I just reading by title only? Okay. Um, oh, I don't have second to. Reading. Second reading. Okay, so I move that we um, just move item 2.6. Just move item 2.6. Good. And the errata. Thank okay, you. Okay, so is there a second, second to that motion? There is a second from Council Member Quo. Okay, a motion by uh, Council Member Kahn, second by Council Member Quo. Is there any further discussion? Please vote. Motion carries 4 to 0 with Member Fox absent. Okay, thank you. Um, at this time...